Hello everyone, it's Monday, okay? So my name is Shira, aka Mimi. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. If you guys are returning, welcome back. I'm coming to you today with three options with a card on who's crushing on you, okay? And how do they feel about you, okay? So I will have a channel song for each pile, okay? So visit the description box below, choose a number of the pile or the channel the song. Uh, the channel song of the pile that's called out to you the most, okay? I don't know what I was about to say. I'm going to give you guys a few moments. I'm going to take a sip of my tea, okay? You can pause the video if you like. I put my phone on vibrate, so... If anything interrupts us, you guys won't hear all the loud noise, okay? So, let's get started with Pile 1. Pile 1, the channel song for you is Way Gone by Rodimi, okay? Rodimi or Rotimi. Uh, I heard people call him both, so I don't even know how to pronounce it. You guys correct me in the comments, but don't come for me, okay? Don't come for me too harshly. Let's get it started. Yes, so who's crushing on you, pal, pal one? This person could definitely be a person you've had a relationship with in the past, okay? I'm going to tell you a little bit about this person. This person uh, could definitely have been a person you guys met when you were younger, maybe in high school, uh, elementary school, or maybe when you guys were really, uh, really young, okay? You guys got moonstone. So you and this person could feel like you have a, I would say, a telepathic connection with each other. You guys just can feel each other from a distance. Um, this is definitely a person you guys had a relationship with before. And I feel like things ended, okay? Things definitely ended because of, I would say, lack of communication. A lot of verbal uh, immaturity, okay? Moonstone. It's great for the third eye. And it also is uh, 37 when you add 3 plus 10, is, uh, add 3 plus 7 is 10, okay? And um, yeah, it definitely uh, represents endings, okay? I'm seeing that since you guys broke up, um, you did gain some sort of clarity with this person. I feel like you guys broke up with this person, okay? Maybe because they were a little immature in how they expressed themselves or how they uh, just came off, okay? Very immature. But you guys definitely got clarity on this person and who they were, how they were. I'm going to say that. But since then, I'm seeing that this person has definitely matured some. I'm not going to say a lot, but some, okay? I think that you guys also mature, but I feel like you guys are always going to be on a different page because you guys are naturally uh, more mature than this person, okay? And I'm seeing that since you guys have, have broken up or split ways, because this, this doesn't have to be a serious connection. This all could also be uh, friends or friends with benefits, okay? I don't feel like this relationship actually got anywhere with this person. Um, but this person is, is definitely crushing on you, okay? They're still in love with you. They're still oogling and googling over you. I'm seeing that you guys um, could have some friends in common and they could be stalking you through social media, through those friends you guys have in common. So you guys might want to block those mutual friends too because they're spying on you in some way. If they're not spying on you through uh, social media or you through your friends, they're spying on you in your dreams, I'm seeing, okay? Yeah. And I'm also seeing that um this person, even though you guys aren't talking, I'm going to show you guys the first card that popped out. You guys got the five of pentacles. Yeah, you guys definitely left this person out in the cold. Okay, they're watching you um, and they know that you guys are with someone, okay? Yeah, way gone. If you come over, I can show you better than I can tell you. If you come over, I can give you everything that you need. Every, everything that you need. So well, you got me ready to run away with you, girl. Yes. I just want this way to go. Yeah, I'm just way too gone. Yeah, this person is definitely um up in their head, overthinking about you, trying to figure out clever and uh I would say crafty ways, okay? Crafty ways of um getting back into your energy. Yeah, vibes don't lie. You guys really have to listen to the lyrics of the song. Um, it's something about you guys' connection, even though it didn't work out how both of you guys wanted it to work out. Um, I really do feel like you met this person unexpectedly. You guys weren't really looking for each other. 
but you just ran into each other, came into each other's lives and changed each other's lives um, on a really profound way, okay? This person, no matter what they do, who they're with, they cannot forget you, okay? They cannot forget the connection, the vibes that you guys definitely shared. Um, and I hear some of you guys saying, fuck that person, they're in the past for a reason. <laughs> and I'm also hearing um, Summer Walker song, there's your ex for a reason. Something like that. I don't know. Something about ex for a reason. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Two of cups in reverse. Now you guys definitely got rid of this person. Yeah. And they can see that she, yeah. Two of wands in reverse. Yeah. Mm -mm. You guys are like, no, that person is an ex for a reason. Okay. Um, This was definitely a person who, uh, I, I don't think that you guys had a bad falling out. I'm going to take the top one. Okay, yeah. The word in A lot of reversals. Yeah, you guys are like, no. You guys look at it as this relationship not going anywhere. And for some of you guys, I don't know, this is for someone in particular, okay? Um, this is a person, a person who's crushing on you. They feel like um, they're, they're kind of accepting the ending of this relationship this is a small group okay it's a, probably one specific person they don't feel like the relationship is going to go anywhere they're going to have success with you maybe you guys are uh holding on to what happened in you guys relationship they want to start a new fresh beginning with you but you guys are like fuck no you know um this person may feel like you guys can't let go of the past i'm saying that both of you guys are definitely with other people i don't think that uh these other people are satisfying you. <laughs> yes, Ten of Cups. I don't think that these other people are satisfying you as much as this person felt like you guys could have satisfied each other. Yeah. This person wants to secretly contact you and, and tell you to, and maybe propose that you guys run away together or you guys leave who you are with. Both of you guys leave who you are with and go be happy because they feel like what they're, what they're experiencing right now uh, what this other person is not fulfilling. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely wants you guys to um consider consider their their proposal or their offer. Okay. With the ten of ten of cups and the strength. They're like, yes. Yeah, I definitely have that courage. How how will we go do this? Yeah, you definitely got this person thinking about uh abandoning someone, hurting someone's feelings. Some of you guys know that you want your ex person back, so don't be trying to be like, well, I don't want that person back. If you guys feel like the vibes were great, but you may have faced a lot of immaturity due to, I would say, lack of communication or lack of expression to one another, then, um, yeah, maybe reconsider, you know, this person's offer. But if this person was abusive and the relationship with them was just your worst experience you ever experienced, then yeah, don't go back to this person. Some of you guys got to put common sense into the equation whenever you are making major decisions like this, especially going back to people. And is, is this uh, Mercury retrograde? I think it is. Let me see. Is this Mercury retrograde? I think it is. It was today the last day or did it start today? Let me see. Okay. Mercury retrograde. Excuse me, you guys. Oh, we ended yesterday. Oh no, no, no! It went. It's going. Oh, okay, it went retrograde. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this person. Yeah, is definitely afraid to contact you guys. Yeah. But yeah, if you guys don't want this person to come back, keep that person blocked. Okay. Or just don't respond to their messages or they might even call you on a strange number or message you guys on a strange number or hit you on a strange account on social media. Yeah, see, they want to communicate with you, you guys. Yeah. But this communication is to be expected anyway because it is Mercury retrograde. So, yeah, they definitely want to, yeah. They want to say this out loud, even though they feel like, you know, you guys might turn them down. They feel like they want to mess up the courage just to speak and tell you how exactly how you make them feel. They're like, you're my everything. I'm with this other person that's not going anywhere. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're definitely miserable. They, they don't want to be right here anymore. 
Yeah. They feel like whatever relationship you both of you guys are in with other people is just not working. Okay, it's not going anywhere. So yeah, it's somewhere in the song when it said, uh, we'll be fools. Oh wow, it's ten ten. Yeah. Um, endings, new beginnings. They want you guys to let go of whatever you guys went through in the past with each other and just start all over and run away with each other, okay? Yeah. Maybe we wish it didn't wait too maybe we wish I didn't wait too long. Yeah. I feel like this person, some of you guys could be in a relationship. You guys are happy with the person you guys are with, and they're in a relationship with someone someone uh, or somebody just to I would say fill the void that you guys have uh left since you've been gone. And because they waited so long to express how you make them feel, yeah, they waited so long to tell you exactly how they feel. Um, You guys have moved on for the better. You guys are like, where I'm at with whomever I'm with is who I'm going to stay with. Yeah, I should have been saying something, okay, because I'm gone, okay? You guys are like emotionally, maybe physically um, gone from the relationship. But this person is like gone in their head. They're like, yeah, they're going through a lot of, uh, you know, mental and emotional turmoil because they're like, damn, um, I should have been told this person before they got into a relationship with, with whoever they're, they're in a relationship with right now. So they're feeling like it's it's an urgency. They're feeling an urgency to communicate with you guys. Okay, they must have the strength to talk to you guys about how they feel. Yeah, some of you guys, this person's like, I, I feel like it's too late. And you guys are like, hell yeah, it's too late. Get your ass on. Okay, yeah. I keep hearing that song by uh, Summer Walker, Ask for a Reason, okay? Yeah. Them vibes don't lie. Where where does it say that? I'm trying to figure out what the part I'm looking for. Yeah. Last last chance to ride this wave. We on, yeah, pack our bags and never look back. It says something about we going to be some fools or something like that. Yeah. If we don't take a chance, we be fools. Yeah, because the vibes don't ever lie. Okay. They feel like you guys, yeah, definitely make them happy. And they also feel like you guys are like soulmates. You guys are like best friends, okay? They feel like they're in love with their best friend. This could definitely be a, a best friend, okay? Someone you guys uh, didn't want to take the relationship for. Maybe this person confessed their feelings to you before. And maybe you guys immaturely responded to them like, ew, I just want to stay friends with you. And friends on the shit out of this person. But they're like, hell no. I keep saying you get into these relationships, connections with people who don't deserve you. You keep putting me on the sidelines. Shit, you better come get this. Yeah, if you come over, I can show you better than I can tell you. If you come over, I can give you everything that you need. Yeah, that's where you got me ready to run away with you. Yeah, this person is still in love with you friend if you guys are just regular friends or friends with benefits or you guys had like a immature puppy love lighthearted connection with each other yeah this person is still digging you they still want your ass you guys are like fuck that but yeah my advice for you guys if you know you want this person back um i would say hear them out okay hear them out first you don't have to agree with what they're saying or take their proposal but um, yeah, if they're giving you everything that you finally, finally giving you everything that you want and you need, um, why not? Yeah. Sometimes you do have to get over your ego and get out of your immature side, get out of your way in order to experience what you know you deserve from a person. Okay. All right, Paula. So they, yeah, that's who's crushing on you. And that is how they feel. Okay. They want to run away with you because you got them gone in their head and their emotions. And they're like, please. They just want relief from their madness that they are experiencing because you guys are gone. They want you back, okay? <laughs> so thank you, Paul, one, for watching. If it didn't resonate, feel free to choose another pile. Like, share, subscribe. You guys can also comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Also, give me some suggestions or the pick cards you guys want to see more of. So, um, yeah. Yeah, you guys, thank you so much for vibing with me, for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, Paul, too. Paul, too. So, who's crushing on you? Uh, the person that you that you have in mind, okay? It's definitely a person that you guys, uh, it's someone you guys know, okay? So, you guys' channel song is Aura, Aura and Drill by B. Young, okay? So, this person definitely looks at you like, um, 
some of you guys could be going through a really tough time in life, okay? This is this is a person that I feel like you guys already know. Um, this is someone you guys haven't haven't officially officially uh gave you guys this connection a title, okay? So yeah, you guys don't have a title. I do see that um you guys could have feelings for each other, okay? I'm hearing a uh, Rihanna's uh what is that? We found love in a hopeless place. Okay. So some of you guys definitely could be going through something. I'm seeing something emotional. Um, some of you could have definitely lost a family me member or relative. Or you guys were just having a really difficult time. But I really do feel like you guys met this person. Maybe um, you guys met this person at a club, at a bar. I'm even seeing it at work, okay? And I don't know why I keep getting cards that almost flip but won't come out, okay? So this person sees you as really defensive, uh, a little closed off more than they would like you to be, okay? Yeah, so let's say, okay? Yeah, this person is definitely a person who does not mind, I would say, expressing themselves to you, okay? This is a person who knows how to communicate uh, really clearly, okay? Like, you guys don't have to wonder where this person's staying with you. I feel like you guys already know this person has feelings for you, like, really deep feelings for you, okay? So, you guys got Celestite, all right? And that is six, balance, harmony, uh, you know, yeah, balance, harmony, yeah. So, you or this person could be a Taurus, Libra, uh, also a Capricorn, okay? Um, Gemini, Aquarius. I haven't seen those signs. But yeah, you could have definitely met this person. I would say during your everyday life. Uh, if it's not um, work, you guys may have uh, met this person in passing. Like somewhere you guys go on a daily basis. Okay? So your crush, like I said, feels like you guys aren't as open as they would like you to be. They feel like you have a lot of pain. You hold on to a lot of pain and suffering. They feel like it's unnecessary. But this person um, definitely wants you to open up to them more, okay? Open up to them more, come to them more, and also express your feelings, okay? Express your feelings how they know that you want to express your feelings. Because this person, like I said, they're, they're the complete opposite of you. Um, yeah, this person that like you guys had a rough life, they had a rough life too. Um, it's a part in the song, yeah. It's a part in the song. I do have the lyrics, yeah. Don't be afraid to say you love me. Girl, it's okay, you don't have to be lucky. Don't be ashamed to say that you need me. Yeah, show me your pain, girl, I'll raise you up quickly, yeah. It was something in here. Something in here. Yeah. Trust me, girl. We're on the same side. Trust me, girl. We're on the same time. Yeah, hit me up. We'll exchange minds. You can hit me up on a late night. Yeah, this person knows that That maybe because of all the things you guys been through, you, I would say, built this wall or you have this tendency to, like, uh, keep yourself closed off, walled up, and not really share your, your intimate feelings and emotions with other people. Uh, mainly because you guys feel like no one understands what you've been through, okay? But this person wants you to see that they understand what you've been through. You guys aren't open enough to let them in, okay? Yeah, I'm going to show you guys the cards in the two. The first impression on pile two. Some cards flipped over. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take all the cards as is. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely somebody that uh, adores you. This person thinks really highly of you. And you guys got the Eight of Cups in reverse. The Seven of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. The Six of Cups. The Sun. And the King of Wands. Yeah, this person definitely wants to... Oh, that's the other... This person definitely wants to uh, love on you, okay? They want to love on you and also bring you some sort of comfort. Um, 
They want you guys to feel safe around them, okay? I feel like you guys are like, no. Um, <laughs> maybe you guys are used to people just coming in into your life. And once they figure out everything that you guys are going through, they have a tendency of just leaving you by yourself or leaving you to fend for yourself and deal with your problems. Um, but this person is not like this. This person is more of like, uh, they look at you as being a soulmate, okay? They feel like they can connect with you on so many different levels, but I feel like you guys are the one holding you know, holding this back. Maybe they do want to take it to the next level. Yeah, you make them happy. Okay. Maybe they do want to take it to the next level, but you guys are the one that's like pulling back or holding back. It's not them. It's definitely you. Okay. Yeah, this person feels really passionate about you. And if some of you guys are like, if this is like a sneaky link or a friend you guys just feel like you just hook up with, you guys try to keep it lighthearted, I feel like this person would, would rather have a commitment with you or try to, okay? They, de they definitely might be a little open, more open to putting a title on it. But um, yeah, I don't think you guys are. I feel like you guys are the opposite. I feel like you guys are keeping this connection at a lighthearted uh, level because you don't feel comfortable expressing your emotions or you guys are afraid that this person might do the same thing that everyone else has been doing. Like they might leave, but I don't, this person is not leaving. They're not going anywhere. Okay. They're like, yeah, you can call me up whenever you guys are going through anything. Call me up, hit me up. Um, talk to me. Okay. They're almost like a uh, therapy for you. Okay. Yeah. This is also a person who you guys would love to, it's really easy for you guys to, uh, I would say, lift down your inhibitions and like probably have a drink, you know, hit, smoke a blunt or something, hit the blunt, um, or just really chill, okay? Really open up and just relax with, but I feel like you guys have a tendency of uh, pushing people away before they have a chance to even get there, okay? Yeah, not a pinnacle. They want to see you happy, yeah. You guys definitely bring this person some sort of, I would say, yeah. And you guys got the emperor in reverse, yeah. Yeah. This is definitely someone that you guys may have a, a unsolidified connection with, okay? Yeah. Just because this person wants you to open up, it doesn't mean that they're trying to control you or they're trying to, uh, I would say cross your boundaries so if you guys are a little a little uh i would say if you guys are the runner you have nothing to, to run away from okay it's definitely someone you guys would like to or you guys should stick with okay yeah this is more of like a love thing i feel like this person has expressed to you how they feel about you and what you mean to them Okay, but you guys haven't truly uh, given this person even a hint, okay? Some of you guys are like, no, for the last time I let my heart open and I gave someone the chance. They were playing with me. I don't blame you guys, okay? Yeah. And yeah, this is definitely a person you guys could have met um, at work. Maybe they have a lot of things going on right now. Maybe their life is not how you guys would love it to be or how they come off is not how you guys would like them to come off. Okay, so this person could definitely be a fire sign. But I'm seeing earth placements though. You guys are in a situationship, I'm sorry. The person you guys are in a situationship has like, yeah, they have these deep feelings for you. Some of you guys, I don't think this person has admitted it. Okay, maybe they feel like they can't give you uh, exactly what you guys need. Okay, or you guys are feeling like um, this person isn't your ideal person. Yeah, all they want to give you is love. Ace of Cups, I don't know why I'm feeling the need to keep pulling with you, Paul, too. Yeah, you don't have to worry about getting your little feelings hurt, okay, or your heart broken, tower in reverse. Yeah, they feel like you don't have to wait anymore. They're the person that you should be uh, focused on right now. But I feel like you guys, I don't blame you. If you feel like you are going through something 
um, or you, if you feel like your world is in shambles right now, you can't afford to focus on love, then yeah, you guys definitely have to uh, do what's best for you. Yeah, they feel like you guys are super closed off. They feel like they can't, they can't get to you. <laughs> Come out. Okay, I'm gonna get the first one I saw that popped up over here. See, the first one that came out was, yeah. Nine of Swords in Reverse. Yeah, they don't want to bring you any type of stress. Yeah, they're not there to just use you and dip off and leave. You know, they really do want to bring you some sort of peace. Okay? Nine of Cups. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, this, this person feels like you guys need to um, get a grip, okay? Get a grip, calm that ass down, and, and kind of let them in. All right? I'm sorry this is a little short, you guys. I do want to keep these very short because, um, yeah, I have to go get my baby in a few, okay? So I don't want to spend too much time on this, but, yeah, Pile 2, that is who has a crush on you. This is definitely um, a friend, a person you guys talk to regularly. I'm a person who you know has feelings for you, that you know you have feelings for too, but you guys are, like, fighting it because you've been through a lot or you guys are a little afraid of... Uh, like really letting your walls down and being vulnerable but this person is like you know you don't have to be like that with me some of you guys if you are in love with this person they're waiting for you to say that you uh you love them and some of you, i can hear some of you saying why well, i gotta say it first and they feel that way why they ain't told me yet <laughs> okay so yeah this is someone you guys are um are really familiar with so I would say this, if you guys are a little afraid of being vulnerable, please have a conversation with this person. Don't leave this person on red or leave their eyes hanging or just only come around when you guys need to dump your problems on this person. I'm not saying you guys do that, but um, don't take advantage of this person because I feel like this person, if you guys give this person a chance, it could be or it could unfold into something really beautiful, okay? So yeah, Paul 2, that is who has a crush on you and that is how they feel about you, okay? Nothing but good vibes for you guys. Um, yeah, you do what's best for you. But um, don't close yourself off too much, okay? So if you guys feel like it resonated, uh, feel free to choose another pile if you feel like it didn't resonate, okay? Uh, like, share, subscribe. Also, comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking. And give me some suggestions on what kind of pick cards you guys want to see, okay? Because I get a lot of mixed uh, signals and suggestions, okay? I just want to put out... Uh, I would try to put out what everyone likes, okay? Try to give you guys a variety. So uh, thank you so much for vibing with me, for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Mwah. Bye. Okay, hey, Paul 3. Paul 3, who is crushing on you? And how do they feel about you, okay? So Paul 3, the channel song that I got for you is Real Games, okay, by Lucky Day. So the person who's crushing on you, this, okay, this is a, a person that you guys are like on and off with a relationship with, okay? Um, you guys are definitely on and off with this person, okay? For others of you, this is a person who um, you guys kind of friend zoned, okay? Yeah. I don't think that you guys, you guys, uh send a lot of mixed signals okay a lot of mind games okay so some of you guys could definitely be uh an air sign a libra aquarius and a gemini i feel like this person could be a gemini and you could be a libra two air signs okay so you guys got the aqua or a quartz okay yeah this person feels like you guys play a lot of games okay i'm seeing that you guys met this person on your travels um the thing that caught this person's eye about you, okay, is that you guys probably were by yourself looking all lonely, okay? Maybe this person uh thought, like, maybe I can just, uh I would say, laven this person's life over or, or, or kind of make their day by speaking to them, okay? So this person could look at you as being a uh, lonely or a, lon a loner, okay? You guys could definitely could be a loner. Um, you don't really hang around a lot of people. You guys like your solitude. I'm saying you could definitely be an introvert, okay? Um, this person could have saw you doing something outdoors. I feel like you guys, if you work outdoors or if you do something outdoors, if you are a model, maybe you uh, were modeling or 
even taking uh, selfies, taking pictures, okay? Um, this person is a really great charmer. They're a really great talker, okay? So, um, yeah, this person could definitely, okay, I'll pick the first card that came out, and that's the judgment card, okay? Yeah, this person uh, could definitely be a great talker, a smooth talker, a charmer, okay? You guys know this about this person. Um, I'm feeling like you guys in particular may want, I would say, you guys love your freedom. You like to be alone, okay? I'm definitely hearing uh, loner vibes. You guys are a traveler. So yeah, you guys definitely could have made uh, could have met this person traveling. Some of you guys could also be a Sagittarius, or um, I would say yeah, Aquarius or Sagittarius. I'm, I'm definitely seeing the air signs with the Libra placement. Both of you guys could definitely be uh, smooth talkers or slick talkers, okay? And with this judgment card, yeah, I feel like this person is your match, okay? This person is your equal. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing that. Um, I'm seeing that this person, what you guys tell this person, how you guys are with this person. Um, I would say you guys confuse this person. I'm seeing that you may want something a little more lighthearted, but this person is looking for something a little more serious. You say one thing, but you do another thing. Um, and this person, like, I don't understand where I stood with this person, where I stand with this person. Some of you guys could be with this person, I would say six weeks, six months. Um, it could definitely be fresh, or I would say the longest is six years, okay? This person doesn't know what the hell you want. You don't know what this person wants. Um, some days, like I said, it's something about you guys' connection. You guys feel so good together, okay? They love the way you guys look. They love the way you guys dress. Um, it's a lot about the physical, the passion between you guys, okay? But I don't think it, you know, it's, it's, it's deeper as deep as this person would like it to be okay yeah i'm definitely seeing you guys could be emotionally um unavailable okay yeah this person definitely uh feel like you maybe this person was a player okay but since meeting you they feel like you have opened their heart and their mind up to so much more or so wanted to you know settle down or to really get to know a person maybe take connections and relationships seriously um <laughs> Yeah, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Swords, I'm sorry, Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you guys definitely don't speak and say what you guys really mean or really want with this person. This person, I don't know, I feel like you guys definitely want two different things, but uh, being with each other, you kind of make, you kind of make each other want to change your mind. I'm going to definitely say this, okay? It's a lot of confusion in this relationship, yeah. Yeah. Where is this part? I want to, you, you guys got to listen to the lyrics and just listen to the song, okay? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. The only one that got me stuck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if you want to do, do, do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because you're the only one that got me stuck. Okay, walk around with eyes wide open. I ain't focused. No, you notice that, baby. Yeah, this person feel like they need to stop fucking with you because you're definitely a distraction to them. Okay? I'm saying this person could also be an artist. They could speak for a living. Okay? This person and you are alike in so many ways, but you guys are different in so many ways. Um yeah this person is definitely your match even if you guys come from total different backgrounds or you guys lead uh i would say lead or live a total different life um i'm definitely seeing that you guys are similar in so many ways maybe you guys is lack of commitment but yeah this person is tired of playing games with you um <laughs> yeah yeah they don't want you to play games with them no more five of wands uh in reverse okay yeah they don't want to fight. They don't want to argue. They don't want to fuss. They're like, you know, it's draining fucking with you, okay? Yeah, because some of you guys could definitely be wanting to, um, I would say, see see certain behavior from this person. Some of you guys could definitely have control issues. Maybe they want to move it along a little faster than you guys are comfortable with. You guys are like, hell no, okay? No, no, no. Things are going at my pace. But this person like, look, I think we've been dating long enough. Have you guys been dating for like, uh six weeks or six or like six weeks or six months 
I mean, some people might feel like that's long enough to take things a little further. Some people are like, hell no, uh, maybe a year or two. Shit, maybe even six years. But I'm seeing that if you guys were dating for like six years, yeah, this person's like, you play a lot of games. What the fuck do you want? This person getting tired of your ass. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Neither, neither uh, Pinnacle to Reverse. They want to take it to the next level. They don't want to, you know, move at a slow ass pace no more. Okay. They're like, what's taking so damn long? I want them to do whatever it takes, Eight of Pentacles, to make you feel uh, comfortable or to make you jump out your little box or consider uh, taking me seriously, okay? I feel like this person sees so much more with you guys. They want so much more with you guys. But you're like, no, 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 no. I like the way it's going now. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely seeing you guys might have commitment issues, okay? And for some of you, if this, if this is a person you haven't, like, actually, uh, I would say, interacted with or anything, this is a person who is considering, um, if you guys are, like, talking on the phone, just, like, really getting to know each other, this person wants to, like, uh, take you on a date or something like that. But, yeah, eight of wands in reverse, yeah. They feel like if they keep putting their self out there, they don't, they don't keep getting uh, shut down, okay? They don't want to make a fool of themselves. Okay, they're like, they'll, they'll do whatever it takes, but they feel like they're working a little too damn hard. <laughs> they're trying to bust down those walls because you guys are just like not trying to let someone in. Yeah, this person's tired of your ass, Paul Three. They're like, look, make up your damn mind. Yeah. They feel like you guys have a reason why you're, you, you don't want to. You don't want to take it further with them. They feel like the reason why you guys are playing games because because you guys are a player. You guys are like uh, maybe keeping your options open, okay? And you guys are like, no, I just like my freedom. I just don't, you know, I don't think this, this needs to go any further, okay? They're like, no, no, no. It's something this person isn't telling me. For some of you, you could have this person blocked. Um, You definitely could have this person blocked because you feel like um this person is not to be trusted like why do they want to get with you so bad some of you guys this person could be foreign if you met this person on your travel so you probably think that that um they're not really interested in you uh genuinely but maybe they're interested in you because they want something out of you maybe it's to uh i would say use you in a way i don't see how they would use you you could think that they wanted to want to use you to uh I would say maybe stay in the country if this person is a uh, foreign, okay, for some sort of green card. This is not for everyone, but this is some of you guys. You're like, you know, why does person want to, um, you know, take things so, you know, why do you want to move so quickly? <laughs> okay. And this person like, well, I want to move quickly because I feel like I found the one. You guys are like, no. But I feel like some of you guys think this person is like, a fucking car and artist or something. Okay. I don't think this person is. I just really do think this person just uh you you gave them a different perspective when it comes to I would say connections and relationships, okay? Yeah, both of you guys have trust issues for sure. You don't trust e e each other's uh, I would say intentions with each other okay and I, I i do kind of understand that if you guys only knew this person for a short period of time specifically six uh weeks to i would say six months that, that really isn't enough time you can get to know somebody for uh 60 60 or 16 years and still don't know certain things about them okay um but at some at some point you can't like really get to i would say or allow your trust issues to get the best of you where you guys are like blocking every single connection um, because of what you feel like might happen or um, I would say paranoia because some of you guys, you know, I feel like when you guys are together, vibes never lie. Energy does not lie. You guys are getting really great vibes from each other, really loving vibes. This definitely could be a soulmate from a past life. Um, it's a lot of great feelings, good feelings, good vibes, a lot of chemistry you guys have with each other, but it's like, uh, when it comes to like putting things on paper, you know, really speaking facts and saying things for what it is, you guys are like, no, 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 no. It's getting a little too real now. Okay. It's getting a little too real. Let's back off. And you guys kind of pull away from each other. And then you end up going back. When did you guys end up breaking the ice, going back to each other? And it's a lot of, you know, 
confusion and mixed signals. And at some point, this person is like, fuck this. I got to be the bigger person. And I'm about to just call it quits on this, okay? So if you guys are wondering, because I feel like most of you guys definitely know, yeah, this person feel like the way you guys um, communicate, the way you guys deal with each other is definitely toxic. And they feel like it's going absolutely nowhere. No one is winning, okay? Your crush is tired of this shit. <laughs> Okay, so if you guys have this person blocked, if you guys really don't want this person or you feel like you really don't want a commitment and they do, I'll leave this person alone. And if you guys like feel the opposite, like, no, I wanted a commitment and this person didn't, yeah, then fuck it. Okay, you just shouldn't be having to beg anybody for, uh, I would say, uh, I would say, yeah, you shouldn't have to beg anybody for shit like this. Okay, leave, leave it be. Leave it be. Leave this person be. Maybe it is the best because, yeah, both you guys, I feel like you know what you want, but you know that the other person cannot give it to you or, uh, you know, yeah, this person is, is tired of playing these games. That's the name of the song, Real Games. There's nothing else I can say, Call 3. Okay, so if you don't want this person, you don't want to be serious about this person, uh, make a clean cut, cut this person off, okay? This person definitely should do that too also, but we cannot control the actions of other people. But I, I feel like it is best for you guys to just part ways. And if it is meant for you guys to come back together, um, I would say, yeah, just let it be. Allow things to happen naturally because someone isn't being honest about what they really or truly want. And they feel like it's you. Okay? If you if you know it's not you and it's the other person, you know, then so of course switch the roles. But, yeah, this person feel like this uh, situationship, okay? You guys talking has definitely ran this course. If you guys are talking and you don't want to date this person, they feel like, you know, you're definitely wasting my time. Yeah, they feel like they're putting a lot of work. They're trying to bust them walls down. They're trying to show you that they're not, yeah. They feel like you guys are just, they're, they're not, you know, they're not confused. They feel like you're confused, okay? They definitely feel like you're confused. They see clearly, uh, you know, what this situation really is, what truly is. Yeah, a whole bunch of fucking games. Mind fuckery, okay? So, yes, yeah, expect, you know, less communication. If you guys are talking to this person, communicating with this person, it's specifically if you guys have this person blocked, um, expect this person to be uh, pulled back, you know, really not interacting with you guys, okay? Don't expect to get a call, or a text from this person, specifically if you have this person blocked, you know, why are you expecting their call if you got the block? You got the block for a reason, right? So if you guys really want this to work, you want this person, uh, stop being so immature, okay? Be honest with this person. Communicate like adults, okay? And communicate clearly because you never know. I feel like because you guys haven't fully expressed how you feel with each other, I feel like uh, one person is behaving or... I would say interacting with the other person based on how they think they feel, okay? I think everything could be solved with a simple conversation. But one of you guys have to be brave enough to actually, I would say, break the ice. And it, it definitely, it, I, I'm not going to lie, it won't be this person. It definitely has to be you, okay? So, yeah, Calvary, that is what is crushing on you. And that is how they feel about you, okay? About you in the situation, they ready go if you don't do something, if, if something doesn't change, okay? And if you guys feel like, you know, it is what it is, let it be. It's that simple. So thank you so much, Pile 3, for watching. Thank you for vibing with me. If you feel like it didn't resonate, choose another pile. Like, share, subscribe. Also comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking. And also give me suggestions about the pick of cards you guys would like to see on this channel, okay? So, yeah. Yeah, you guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.